On Friday, March 9th, my mother, Connie Lou Brown, was found at the rock quarry near here. Uh, she'd been shot in the chest and her body burned. My mother was only 51 years old when she had passed. She barely had time to live her life. My mother was a giving and trusting person. She trusted everybody, had lots of friends in the area. She would take strangers in, give them a night to stay, even give them some food. Um, she was just the type of person that everybody loved. My mother would give her last dime if she had it, just to help somebody out. Uh, Connie had two surviving daughters, nine brothers and sisters, and a grandson that she never got to meet because she was murdered. Preceding her in death was her parents, Charles and Mildred Louise Brown, her brother, and she had a son who died as an infant. And I'm just asking that if anyone out there knows anything about this case or who might have committed this vicious murder, um, please contact your local authorities or the TBI. Uh, anyone that might have seen her from March 1st through the 9th with any kind of details, even if you just saw her at a grocery store where, please contact your local authorities. Um, Candace, what was your reaction when you heard about this? Um, what had happened? Uh, mostly shocked. You know, you hear about murders in the news all the time, but you never know somebody that you personally know to be murdered. So I received a call from one of my aunts late night, and when she told me I, she had been murdered, I was just in shock. Um, when's the last time you had uh, spoken with your mom or, or seen your mom? The last time she was up in the area, because I live up north, she had come up for the birth of my son. Um, which she never got to meet him because I went past my due date and she had to come back down. And she called me on birthday, which was February 5th, and I wished me a happy birthday and we chatted for a bit. And then I had missed her call on February 18th, which was her birthday. And um, how, how old is your son now? Six months old. She probably was pretty excited about that. Yeah, she had had a son herself, which would have been my brother, that had passed away at two months old. So I know this was kind of something that meant a lot to her. Um, what can you tell us um, about your mom, you know, um, how she had been living, you know, recently? Uh, she had a longtime boyfriend of about 10 or 11 years from the McMinnville area, and when she'd come up to visit me, um, they must have had a falling out, so she'd been living with him for the past 10 years, and then she just was staying at a friend's house. Um, do you have any idea why, you know, anyone would uh, want to hurt your mom or anything like that? No, and that's just the thing. I mean, anyone who knew her, I mean, she was one of the kindest people you ever had met. Um, she'd do anything for anybody. All of her friends are in shock, just as much as I am that, you know, who'd want to hurt Connie? So, I mean, yeah, there's just, we have no idea. Um, what were you, um, so you drove down um, from Indiana? Yes. Um, what was that drive like, you know, dri driving here for, for this reason? You know, there's a long time to think and process. Mm -hmm. I actually enjoyed the drive. It was very pleasant. I haven't been down to the Tennessee area for, I'd say, a good five to six years. Um, a lot of memories come back, you know, because up north it's really flat. Down here it's very pretty. And my mom would always take me to the big waterfall that's, I don't know, within an hour drive. And we love the waterfalls. We'd go there, go hiking. My sister and I, she'd take us there. And, you know, we enjoyed the scenery down here. So it was a nice, pleasant drive, just trying to, you know, clear your head and put everything together because you're just so overwhelmed with shock that you know my mom was murdered and so just to take it all in you know it's hard to believe that something like this happened and I and even today it's been two weeks I still it hasn't really hit. Um, Where was home for you or for your mother? McMimble. She originally is from Tennessee, and then she had lost her father when she was 10 years old, so her mother ended up moving up north when she was young with all of her brothers and sisters um, and lived up in the northwest corner of Ohio for a number of years, and then she moved back down this 
uh, area about 15 years ago when her mother was ill because her mother moved back down here and she was taking care of her. Um, what are you hoping now, um, you know, talking to us and then coming down here and, um, you know, I know this is hard, you know, to, to be on the news and be interviewed like this. Um, what, what are you hoping? I know a lot of people out there knew her, but, you know, to help aid the police with any kind of possible suspect that's out there, I mean, my mother kind of went missing somewhere around the time frame of March 1st, and between March 1st and March 9th, we're, we're not finding anybody that knew where she was. She went for a walk or somebody picked her up for a ride, um, but any anybody that might have seen her anywhere that could help at least pick up some sort of trails, what we're hoping to do. What has this been like, um, you know, for you and your sister and, you know, the rest of your family that, um, you know, has grown to this? It's been hard, especially with, we have such a large family on my mom's side and my dad's side. Obviously, my parents have been separated, but we're all scattered all over the place from down south to Florida to clear up north of Michigan, all over. So just a lot of phone calls, um, trying to support each other. We're going to have a memorial service back up north uh, once I get her remains and bring her back home. But it's private, it's not for the public. Um, but we're all just going to gather and kind of talk about the good memories we had of her and, and just pray that somebody helps us find whoever did this. Uh, the services will be on Tuesday. What's what's one thing you'd want people to know about your mother, to remember that those who didn't know her, what would you tell them? Uh, I would tell them that she was one of the kindest, loving people. She was the type that, you know, would go over to a neighbor's house and help them, you know, plow the driveway or help them with their canning and wouldn't expect nothing back for it. Um, type of person that, like I said, if you needed a place to stay or something to eat, she'd fix you something up and send you on your way type thing. Yeah. Um, what kinds of things did your mom enjoy doing? Or, uh, you know? She loves to walk. She loves outdoors. She loves hiking. Um, and, you know, she was drawn to Tennessee because of how beautiful it is down here. So being outdoors in the nature, she's very social. She likes going out and having a good time with her friends. Um, I mean, she's got a tight network of friends that, you know, she'd play checkers or cards or just hang out. Um, 